I had a dream. Um, basically, in my dream, I was driving in my car on a normal day, and all of a sudden, I started getting thoughts of worldly things. For example, music that I used to listen to before I was delivered. And um, the music, I was kind of in my mind thinking, oh, I want to listen to that song. Oh, I, I wonder what new music is out. And, you know, I was thinking about one of my favorite artists as a secular artist. And the kind of music they, they make isn't really, you know, godly. So I was like thinking of ways, I started compromising, thinking of ways I can listen to it without sinning, which you can't. But I'm thinking, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I can, I can do this or I can do that. How can I do it? And then at the same time, I said, you know what? I can't do that. Mm -hmm, I can't. Because I, I got to say, I got, I, I, I'm changed and I got to allow God to, 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 you know, to be in the forefront of my life. He has to be first. He has to be first. And I can't go back to who, who I used to be. And as soon as I said that, I heard a voice say, I'm done with you. And out of my back, this this um presence came out of my back. My I literally physically felt something pull and come out of me as if it was there, and it just pulled out of me. I, I literally jerked backwards in the car as it left my back, and I just um parked my car. I parked the car in in a, in a random driveway, and. It was a guy standing outside of his house, so that's that was his house that I was parked at. And I said, "Hey, you are you a Christian?" And he said, "No, I am a." And I can't remember what he said he was, mm -hmm. but he wasn't a Christian. He said he wasn't a Christian because the first thing I wanted to do was minister to him of what just happened. Right. And when I turned, I noticed that what came out of me when I it looked like a little boy. Yep like a little boy it was it was a african black a black boy like that kind of looked like how i used to look when i was a kid and um he was he was at another he went to one of the houses that was trying to get into one of the houses i don't know what why and when i but when i asked the guy i said are you a christian and the guy said no i'm not and i looked i said you see that boy over there and he was like because i was trying to make sure he can actually see it because i knew it, it was a spirit you know, he, other people may not be able to see what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. and he said, yeah, yeah, I can see him. I said, that's not a little boy. That's a demon. And when I said that, that boy, that demon came over there to me and started arguing with me. And when I tell you, he made this face that I know a little kid can't make. Yes. He looked really like rage-like face, mad, angry. It was the weirdest type. His face looked really tight and like he was like, like a, almost like a dog would look that angry. And um, I just started rebuking him. I didn't even try to get into a whole argument with this thing. Because that's what it was trying to do, argue with me. And I'm like, you know, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Now, when I got in the car, my car wouldn't start. At first, it made, that, it made it sound like it was cranking up. But it wouldn't crank up. It was just, it, it, at first it said, crank, 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 crank. Like it's going to crank, and then it wouldn't. And then it got to a point where it was completely dead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was completely dead. Like I tried to turn and it would not start up. Mm -hmm. Now that was it. I didn't see that. I, I didn't even pay attention to that demon thing or whatever that was anymore. It was just I just got in my car and I was like, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna get I'm over here. And and that was the and, and that was the end of the dream. So when I when I got up, I, of course I prayed and I thank God. You know, I called Pat and I let her know what just happened because I that. Because again, when I got when I first had my experience last year, not last year, last month of a lot of that stuff happening, manifesting and stuff, mm -hmm. two months before that I had a dream that I was being delivered and it was a guy pulling literally pulling demons out of me, out of my bed. And so my dreams I, I, I learned that my dreams are prophetic. And that dream that I had was a prophetic dream. Mm -hmm. Because when I told Pat about it, she was like, you know, even though you have a dream, it all is still means something in the spiritual realm that you got delivered and and as time goes on you're going to notice something different about yourself mm -hmm. because i'm telling you guys it was a physical it felt like something because i first i'm going to tell y'all this i resisted in the dream because that's what i do now because just last night before i went to sleep i was getting before i even late when i laid my head down i started getting perverted thoughts they were perverted i started thinking about you know 
stuff that, you know, is perverted thing. And I started resisting because that's, that's what I've been doing for the past month is resisting. Resisting the enemy. And in the dream when I resisted it, because I wanted to, because it, it's trying to, it, it try to do it in the day while I'm awake, try to get me to go back into music and try to get me, my mind back on that. And I, I keep, I keep resisting. But when I did it in my dream, it, it got, it got upset. It was like, I'm, I'm done. Cause it, like they don't, they don't want to waste their time with somebody that, that that's not giving into those desires. But if you give into those desires, then you're feeding them and they're going to stay. But the more, the more you keep resisting them, the, you, they're going to get to a point where, they're, like he said, on that, like that thing said, I'm done with you, mm-hmm. and it will. Mm-hmm. But um, when I prayed and I asked God that this morning, I said, God, what did that dream mean? This is what I, this is what I, that started coming to me when I was writing. And I'm going to try to, you know, tell y'all the best that I can remember because I don't have my book with me that I've, you know, written it in. But um, and Pat kind of helped me too. She said the little boy represented me as a kid. And and how a lot of those things that I went through as a kid, it that's what that demon represented. It represented all those things that came on me as a kid, being you know things that happened to me, um, and just the abuse and molestation, all that kind of stuff that happened. And that's what that little kid represented. That's why he was a black kid, and he was young. He was little. He looked kind of like he don't look. He didn't look like me, but he he can he can put you in the mind of how I look now. Yeah. And um, so that that is why he the demon looked like a kid and still the actual like demon all scary looking you know all that stuff, mm-hmm. but he looked like a little kid. And then also with the car and, and and also with him coming back over to me and arguing, it is because the moment I tried to minister to someone, my past showed up. It showed up in my face and tried to argue with me, tried to get my mind off of the ministry, uh, off of what I'm doing. Is trying to get me back on him so he could find a way back in because he tried to argue and I, and I cannot tell you what he was telling me because I wasn't trying to listen to him. I said I was you in Jesus' name. I should. And he wouldn't leave. He wouldn't leave. And the reason why this came to me, the reason why he didn't leave is because when you get delivered, they're going to always try to come back. They're going to always try to, 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 to tempt you. And that's what he was doing. He was trying to tempt me. And I, all I did, I didn't even, because when they tried to talk to Jesus, Jesus just said, peace be still. He didn't have a conversation with them. Uh, some pastors being in the church trying to talk to them. It's a difference between, between trying to uh, get them to identify themselves, that you can cast them out properly. But you don't have a conversation with a demon, because they're, they're nothing but lies. You don't listen to nothing they say. When they try to come back to you, you just rebuke them. When you get delivered, and they try to say, oh, no, you're not delivered, because, look, you feel it. You're going to feel it, because that's not your feeling. That's from them. So that's why he came back and tried to talk to me and tell me stuff. And I'm like, I rebu- I ain't listening. Nothing he said. I said, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I'm tired. And then I got in my car. But I'm like, I'm not just saying have a conversation with a demon. Heck no. Bye. And <laughs> that's what that represented when he tried to come over and talk to me. It's because he tried to get a, find a way back in. And then I just shut him down. I didn't. I, he got angry, but I didn't care. I shut him down. And so um, the, the part with the car not starting up, when I prayed to God about that, it is because he was showing me that I'm dead to that old person who's dead. That's what the car represented. Then when you try, when you when you, when you trying to make sure that you're delivered and whatever, and the car just won't start it's because you're dead to that old person. That's no longer you no more. I mean, the car would not start up. So I mean, that's just what I. That's just what came to mind. So I, you know, I don't know. That's the only thing that I can come up with, with why the car won't start. Because other than that, I didn't get it. I mean, Mm-hmm. I pray over my car to get, you know, that stay working with it. Mm-hmm. So that was the dream, y'all. So I I'll tell you, I tell you what came to my mind, Rashad. You know, when you talked about the car not starting, was it represented the fact that that demon is dead and gone? Mm. It's that same type of thing that you got that 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 stronghold is dead and gone now, right? And no matter how many times you tried to start it, it just died on you. Yeah, that was what I thought. It represented that demon. Yeah, so we had the same type of interpretation.